What's going on, folks? Glad here. Welcome back to Somewhere in Canada. Guys, we are running soybean bales today. That's right. It's soybean. You know, I know what you're saying. It's soybean bales? Money bales. Money money bean bales? Soybean. Yeah, so soybean bales. We had a crazy harvest the other day. Look at all those money beans out there. We got a bunch of them. All the, all the money beans off the field for the most part. And uh, we just got bales left over. We're going to pick these up. We're going to go sell them off as best we know how. Let's get to work on this, guys. Bitter patter. <laughs> We're gonna try to make a little extra cash selling off all these bales we got now these money bean bales guys i have no idea what to expect from these uh the prices look decent nothing crazy let's be honest but you know what i'll sell i'll sell it for the extra money that's for sure we got quite a few bales there so uh if we can make a few trips out to the alberta feedlot out here drop these off make a little bit of cash i'm happy now we don't have a proper trailer for these i mean yeah this big tax is doing the job I would love to actually have a proper trailer. I mean, we can only hold, what, we're holding, what is it, 18, I think? Is that 18 bales? Seven, I don't even know, 16? I don't know how many, 14? I don't even know how many bales it is. Uh, it's just whatever the trailer can hold. The auto load trailer we got, that Anderson trailer, that's what we're loading onto this. And whatever it fits, we can do that. Anyone coming? Nope, let's cross. Now we're down, now we're down, we can beat him. We can beat him, we can beat him. Go, 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 go. So it actually is not a bad system. It's a lot better than me trying to load all these manually. And uh, you know what? I'll show you. The, I'll show you what we got going on. It actually works out. It's real slick, actually. But uh, let's go sell these off first. Where's the Alberta feedlot here? Right here somewhere. There it is. It was right here. All right. Let's pull on in. Nice and easy. Yes. All right. Let's go sell these bad boys off. We'll see what we can make for money on these. Like I said, if I get usually what five grand off these, that's a decent amount. Uh, we'll see what we get today. So these are money bean bales. You know what? I, I was thinking things through. I should have went with corn instead of sunflowers. Because, well, the, sun, the corn does give us bales as well. That would have been a nice option. Let's pull on in. Get rid of these bad boys. Thank you very much. 8,500. Nice. All right. Well, that ain't, that ain't bad. I don't mind that. So we took the back roads. Well, because we had that kind of a kind of an awkward bale load. But on the way back to the farm, we don't need to do that at all. We can just get on the highway here. And then the best part is we can just kind of eat this right into the, into the field here. Here's our farm. Let's go. Let me hear your yee. <laughs> Wow, guys, there's a lot of bales up there we still got to get. <laughs> there's a ton. All right, let's uh, just pull this alongside. We'll grab the 240, get back into the field, start grabbing the bales. Yeah, it's a lot. That is a lot. You know what? Even with the auto loader, it does take a little bit of time to get all these bales. Uh, I'm glad. This is one of the pickups we did just the other day. So we dropped, uh, we lost a little bit of cash because we had to buy this. But I thought I was going to have to buy a flatbed as well because all we had was that big text trailer. But it's actually working out surprisingly surprisingly well i'm actually pleasantly surprised at how well this system's working for us right now Look at that, that works that goes in pushes that back i love this trailer but we've got a lot of bales here i don't know if there's a better system we could go with but i'm, I'm happy with this uh we do have the two uh the, the 300 sorry hooked up no, no no this is the 300 sorry the 240's got the front loader on it we could have used that instead to pick up individual bales but that's always that's such a pain working one bale at a time i, I ain't got time for that Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, we almost finished off this side here. I still got a couple bales. In fact, I've got one. Uh, let's see if we can go look at it. One corn bale. Oh, oh, I don't, don't run into that one. Right over there. You can see it's got like a yellow tinge. So we do have one corn bale that's still over there. I'm just going to load up that uh, we need to grab. I thought about getting some kind of a storage as well and storing some bales, but I don't really think we need to store bales. We, I'm going to go with slurry for now. We're going to hold off on, on doing manure. Get all our animals just to make slurry, and they should be just fine with that. All right, let me show you how we're loading this up, because this, this is slick. This, this is awesome. All right, so we got to get the trailer up on, on the trailer. We got some trailer, trailer action going on here. And then once it's up and lined properly, then we can unload. And you got to kind of pick the right spot. So I think that actually looks pretty good. We're nice and straight, as you can see, as well as the back of our auto load trailer is kind of like right on the cusp of the back. We're probably going to have to pull forward just a touch as we unload. But I think we're in pretty good shape here. Let's watch what happens. Hopefully this works out as well as it has. Everything's nice and straight. Because the last thing I want to do is start dealing with one bale at a time and unloading one bale onto this trailer at a time because that there is just a pain. Just pay attention here. Watch when it starts getting close to the end. And as soon as it is, we just kind of pull ahead a little bit. A little bit more. And Bob's your uncle. Look at that. K-Bot's your uncle. You're good to go. <laughs> that there, folks, is how you unload that trailer onto a flat deck trailer. That, that's slick. 
Ah, I, I love that. That's great. All right, let's go for another drive. Let's go sell some more money beans. Let's shut this down. And let's get running. Just looks like um, Gertie forgot to get a whole bunch of soybeans out here. I might have to put the harvester out. I think there's enough what's worthwhile to come out and grab. I didn't even notice this before. We just finished up the harvest earlier and came back on out. And there's a spot out here that hasn't been harvested. There's a good little section. I, I mean, I think that's worthwhile. Can you guys see that? Let's see. I'll pull a bit further forward. Hey, like, look at this, this whole section here. There's a good swath that's... I mean, it's not massive, but still, I feel like I should pick this up. This is all free money right here. I might as well come grab this. Anyways, uh, let's load this back on up. Now, guys, the other benefit to what we're doing right here, instead of having a, uh, a flat deck on a semi-truck, well, I can bring this truck right into the field. I mean, we're not risking this thing sinking in. I think it's pretty smart. You don't have to worry about it sinking into the ground. Uh, we got four-wheel drive. We got some nice mutters on this thing. Uh, I think we're good with that. As long as it's at least somewhat dry. I mean, we can't come out here when it's muddy. Let's be honest. But uh, as long as it's somewhat dry, it looks pretty good right there. It's just because that's a little bit of a twist. A little bit of a twist and we should be good. I don't want to go all the way up on there. I think that would be too much weight for this trailer. But I think right there, let's take a quick look at this. I mean, that looks pretty darn close to being straight. Just eyeball that in. All right, let's get this onto the deck. And away we go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Get her all the way back. Oh, we're a little sideways. We're a little on the sideways side. That's going to cause a bit of issues. I thought we were straight. I guess not. Close, but just a, just a tooch off there. You know what? Let's take a closer look at this. Can I... Oh, <laughs> oh no. Um, we're going to have to take the back roads for sure. These, these tires are going to be a little overloaded on this side. Yeah, it, it should be okay. Let's let's strap this down and see how it's it's gonna work out for us. But that's not perfect. Oh man, yeah, guys, this, that was that was the worst job so far. Let's uh, get our tow mirrors out at least here. Yeah, you can see. Look, look at that. It's <laughs> it's clear skies over there. Nothing but bales in that mirror. Um, well, we're gonna take this super easy. In fact, I got an idea. We'll just go down the shoulder. That, that's okay, right? We'll just we'll we'll just cruise down the hill here. Because we're like, I just have to get across the highway almost to get to Alberta feed. And then we'll just, we'll just take the shoulder. We'll put the four ways on and get down the shoulder. It'll be fine. All right. Yeah, I get across the road here. Nothing. We got time. We got time. We got time. Get our four ways on. Now, guys, I've been told not to use this little break in the highway here. I've been told that I shouldn't use that. Um, I guess that's for emergency vehicles. But you know what? This is an emergency as far as I'm concerned. All right. Four ways are on. Let's just take her nice and easy. We'll stay on the shoulder here and hopefully... No one runs into the side of us. Ugh, this is sketchy. Oh, yeah, no problems at all. You know what they say, best driver in farm sim. Let's uh, pull on in. Let's sell us off again. Another 8,500 bones right into the account. I like it. Easy money. Easy money. All right, guys, last little bit here. I, I thought about selling this stuff off as well, but we got, what, eight bales here? Plus, I got two corn bales over on the far side that I think I'm just going to hold on to for now. I thought about selling them off, but I think we're going to hold on to these guys. This is because there's no point. There's no reason to sell off for the amount of money we're going to make off just a couple of bales. We might make four to five grand. Eh, whatever. We'll hold on to these. Now, that being said, we did pay off this trailer with all those bales. That's all it took. Those bales paid off our trailer. How good is that? I mean, really, that's, uh, you can't really ask for much more than that, can you? That, that's easy work. I mean, it's not even, it's just before five o'clock. It took us like half an hour, maybe 45 minutes in order to pick up all those bales and uh sell them off and make enough money to pay for this this auto load trailer this was a, you know what that's a good trade for time versus money oh man you can't get much better than that my only problem is i don't really know where to store the bales right now i don't have a lot of space yet uh any extra storage space really for this kind of stuff so i'm gonna have to think about that but while we're thinking about that i did notice let me clean up this corn here i just noticed it's still sitting here yeah there's the oh man this thing needs a bath needs a bath up we go Let's go get that corn, finish that off. But yeah, I've got to figure out something. We need a, a small a small bay of some sort, a small shop, a small, just a lean-to, some kind of a, a bale shed is really what we're going to need, guys. I've got to figure something out for that. Let's grab that corn. Nice. Let's go put that in the silo. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that yet. We'll have to figure something out at some point, but uh, I've got nothing. I might just have to put it on the ground for the time being until, I don't know, we, we could possibly get some in the back of that, that shed right there. I can move the baler out. There's room in there. And then we could do that. That might be a good idea. I mean, alternatively, there is more room out in that field right there that we got the grass from. That would also work. We could put more out that, that neck of the woods as well. Um, 
I'm not sold on that, but it wouldn't be bad. I'd like to keep more of that grass if we can. But anyways, guys, we'll wrap this up here. We'll grab the rest of this up. I'll figure that out another day, a little later on, maybe. I don't think we need to bail anything else for the time being, so they can just stay on the trailer, and I can actually even stick them in one of the shops for the time being, just to protect them. But that's going to do it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode on Somewhere in Canada. If you did, you know what to do. Slap that like. Slap a like. And don't forget to subscribe, folks, if you haven't done so already. And I will catch you next time from Somewhere in Canada. This is Clutch. Over and out. Thank mm -hmm. you.